Hey guys, this is Drake with Drake's Homestead, and I'm coming at you with another quick video. And today, we're talking about broody chickens. If you got a broody chicken, how to break a chicken from being broody. How to get her out of the trance of laying on the eggs. You want to get the eggs. You're tired of her laying on eggs. So how to get them unbroody. And guys, make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and drop some comments down below. I love comments, and this video is actually gave the inspiration from a comment I got on the story from Amanda Loves Horses. She said, I have a broody chicken as well. How do I get it unbroody? Any suggestions? So guys, get in the comments below and maybe I will shout you guys out that you guys gave the comment. So let's let's get social in here. Let's get competent. Commenting. Let's go. Okay. And it's very, very simple how to break a hen from being broody. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to totally take her out of the scenario. So you need to, otherwise she could say broody, have the babies, be mama, and then they it just, they can be broody for a long time. So what you need to do is you need to have another like backup little chicken coop, small little coop where you can safely put the chicken for I would say three to four days and you just keep her by herself give her food and water, you know, she'll, and hopefully she'll snap out of it. And then you got to reintroduce her. And anytime you reintroduce and take out a chicken to a flock, they're going to have to reset the pecking order. So there might be some little fighting and pecking when she comes back. Don't worry about that. They'll figure it out. They'll remember her and they'll just reestablish that. That fighting will just be for a little while. So short and right to the point, if you want to break a chicken from being broody you need to take her out of the location get her to where she can't even see the other chickens and put her in her own little world for a little bit so that's why i always recommend having a backup coop or like kind of like a hospital you know one to put one if one gets real hurt or something like that so there you have it guys now drop something in the comments that you guys would like a video topic on and i'm just over here I'm cooking a chuck roast today with potatoes, carrots, and celery, and onions. So I had some leftover celery stock. Give the chicken something to peck. You know, instead of it going in the garbage. Ooh, look at the flapper. Instead of letting it go in the garbage, you know, it might not be their favorite thing to eat, but if they're sitting in an enclosed run, they're not free-ranging, give them some stuff to peck. Give them some stuff that they can't normally get access to. It's like, imagine being locked up nothing to do. They throw you a new book. Like, aren't you going to be excited? Give them something to peck. Get your chickens unbroody if that's what you want. Separate them a few days. See what happens. Try it again. And if it doesn't work, do it longer the second time. This is Drake with Drake's Homestead. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up, share this. It helps a lot. Join the family. I do three or more videos a week. I will see you guys on the next video. Let's go.